SeaTac just unveiled a big new facility for international arrivals. Yeah, it happened just moments ago. So we've got Fox 13's Dan Griffin at the airport right now and uh, about to check it out. Dan, what do we know about this so far? <laughs> Well, we know, at least according to the press release that we got, it's at least four times larger than the prior one. So that's a huge upgrade already for SeaTac International Airport. I'm joined here with Perry Cooper with SeaTac, and we were talking about what an improvement this will be, not only for professional side of traveling, but personal as well. If anybody's been through our old facility, and it dates back to the 1970s, you will see a huge difference. It's small, cramped, and it's really not justified for the amount of travelers that we have coming through the airport anymore. This will be a huge difference. The dramatic views, the size, as you mentioned before, and the idea as well, too, is the speed to get through it and reduce those connection times for those people who are heading out somewhere else as well, too. So let's say I'm going to be traveling internationally. What can I expect? What will be some of the first things that you'll notice when you walk in? The biggest thing that's going to be there is the dramatic and the iconic aerial walkway. So as you're coming from the gates on the south satellite, that's where the old facility has been. You will actually come across the world's longest aerial walkway over an active taxi lane. It's 780 feet. Uh, long. It's 85 feet tall. Aircraft will be going underneath it. And hopefully, on a beautiful day when you arrive, you'll be able to see to the south Mount Rainier and actually to the west the Olympic Mountains. How much work and time really went into making this perfect and getting us to now? This has been something that's been on our bucket list, really, as the uh, airport in the Port of Seattle for years. And it's taken us a long, challenging time to get it built as well, too, because of that iconic walkway. It's a unique structure. So we've brought together, whether it's metal fabricators, all of our designers and our construction folks, to put this together in a unique way that we think is just really going to be something that's going to stand out and be an icon for travelers as they come arrive here in Seattle and be a welcome mat into this region. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning and we're told that a ribbon cutting is going to be happening at 11 a.m. This is a grand reveal, not a grand opening just yet for the public. I'm told that it'll be a few weeks from now, but certainly an exciting time here at SeaTac International Airport. That's the latest live out here at SeaTac International Airport. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.